Hey guys, how's it going? So in this video, I'm going to be talking about why I sold my Aurora stock at a loss. And I will share my position. This is a paint job. And you guys want to say, oh, you fibbed this. You totally fibbed this. Why would I fib myself losing money? I don't want to do all the math calculations of how much money I lost. That's just too much work. And editing and painting and trying to fake these numbers, it just sound. there's no logic behind it. You know, for me to rig myself losing $1,576.95. Why did I take a loss? Oh, I thought my window was closed because I heard a dog. Uh, so why did I take a loss? Because I just, I think Aurora stock's heading down lower. I think it's heading down lower. Just looking from a charting perspective, it looks like it's downtrending in order for it to uptrend it would have to break basically uh, 13 bucks it has it would have to move from 11 13 all the way over to $13 and the only way Aurora is doing that is if they have some kind of big news release unless there is a big news release or an earnings report I don't see a major catalyst for Aurora stock to move back up Maybe after this video I make, it bounces up. I don't know at the end of the day, but any major bounce, I'm going to buy put options on because I think the stock is heading down lower. Could be wrong. I absolutely be, could be wrong, but it's officially downtrending. It has a death cross right now. I'm not going to fight the death cross. I'm just going to leave it alone and I'm just going to wait. Like I said, I could totally be wrong and the stock could go, you know, skyrocket. Uh, but I choose to trust my charting and my charting is telling me that Aurora is going down. So I decided to gamble, take a loss and see what happens. I mean, I'm going to make a video. I'm going to see what happens. Maybe rich people be like, oh, Kevin's out. Let's pump the stock up. You know, that, that could be a total possibility. So we'll see what happens. I mean, I could gain back $1,500 and make a profit if the stock gets pumped up. 10% but I choose to gamble that it's going to go down further and personally I want it to go down further there's gaps to be filled down here and I want it to go back down here so then I can load the boat on it and then make a lot of money when Aurora flips a profit eventually hopefully if they do but we'll see what happens I was bearish up here I decided to gamble when Wolf came out say oh MJ stock market is back and so it didn't uh, Aurora went back, kept going down, and we'll see what happens. Maybe Afria's earnings will pop up Aurora's stock. You never know at the end of the day. It's all a gamble. Uh, so, yeah. Moving forward, Tesla, $1,600. 15 minutes before closing, uh, the power hour right now. Uh, I think Tesla's going higher. I could totally be wrong. We'll see what happens. AMD 6185 Intel will, uh, could plummet uh, AMD stock, but I don't know if Intel reports good, AMD stock is gonna pop. If Intel reports bad, Intel, AMD stock is gonna pop because why? Because AMD basically uh, either is benefiting from the computer boom or they are suffering. I mean, they are getting, uh, or Intel is getting their market shares stolen from AMD. Those are the two pro possibilities that could happen. But I choose to believe that AMD is going higher. I could get my ass bin off here, but I st I did sell a little bit of car options off for some profit. We'll see where it goes. But I'm I'm bullish. AMD's chart is bullish. I think the stock is heading higher. Nbev, Nbev, um. Could be an opportunity down here. I don't know. It felt like it was kind of like a pump and dump, but who knows? Really, at the end of the day, what's going to happen? Um, I think it's going to fall back more, a little bit, but I think, you know, not it. I think ultimately it will grind its way up, but it, who knows at the end of the day? This could literally just be a pump and dump. So we'll see what happens. But it does look bullish right now. It's bullish. So will that bullishness continue? I have no idea. I have no idea. Uh, Intel Intel is uh, up 45 cents. Not too much to say about that. Uh, Neo is down 52 cents. 
sorry, uh, down 52 cents. Tesla is, you know, not, uh, Neo is not benefiting off Tesla today, but if Tesla pops, I, I have a feeling uh, Neo will pop. GameStop is moving up today, but once the Lockhart console is announced, this thing is going to drop down that $4, and the Lockhart console is coming tomorrow. Uh, Electromass Solo, I bought some more car options on this. I believe that this thing is going to the moon eventually. Eventually. I hope so anyways. I could totally be wrong and this thing can drop to $2. Afria. Afria is down 9 cents. We'll see what happens. Neo is down 52 cents. Uh, Village Farms is down 40 cents. Aurora is down 47 cents. Kron is down 6 cents. Canopy Growth is down 35 cents. Uh, Spartan Energy is down 53 cents. It's looking kind of ugly today. And this was promoted by J Mac, and I guess the rich people don't want to listen to J Mac anymore. So they're not pumping his stock. You get greedy on a stock, rich people are not going to pump it. That's what I think, right? That's, that's just my opinion. So. We'll see what happens with uh, Spartan Energy. I think uh, 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 Wall Street and big money don't trust this company. That's why they're not pumping up the stock. That's just my opinion. Um, Spy, Spy is up a dollar eighty-five, fifty-seven cents. This is crazy, but uh, yeah. Um, there's something else that I wanted to talk about. Space. Uh -huh, space. I've, I still have a position in space. $25.75. Uh, well, here's why space is rising in popularity. I want to watch that video after. Uh, Australia's capital. That, I was looking at this earlier. Probably not going to touch it. It's down t a penny today. Very good butchers. Was very volatile today. Uh... Up and down all day long. Could have you could have probably made a decent profit if you bought it at fifty four cents. Nah, not really. Five percent return on investment. That's okay. Uh, liberal health science. Liberal health science is trading sideways. Uh, let's look at some of the big companies like Kira. Kira is down twenty six. True is up three. Medman is down half a penny. Harv is down seven cents. GTI is up twenty, uh, up one point seven seven percent. Let's look at T God. Let's look at T God. T God up half a penny, just trading sideways. I, yep. Anyways, that's it for my video. Whoa, only 8 minutes. Usually I would be done right now because uh, you only require an 8 minute video to put in uh, options. But, I mean not options, in more ads. But, you know, it is it is what it is. Virgin Galactic, uh, so I'm going to at least make it a 10 minute video now. Um, yep, yeah, I don't know. Neo, Tesla. I'm very excited for Tesla. I'm probably going to make another video later on in the night for Tesla. But, you know, because you know, you, how can you not talk about Tesla? If it crashes, I got to talk about it. If it skyrockets, I'm definitely going to have to talk about it. Uh, I'm definitely going to be listening on to the earnings call. I'm very, very exciting for, excited for this earnings call. Is Intel having? Intel is having one today too, isn't they? Aren't they? Oh, it's tomorrow. Okay, I was totally wrong. It's tomorrow. It's not today. It's not today. So we'll see what happens. Ooh, AMD, 62 bucks. I did sell off some car options, which I'm kicking myself for right now because it's going up higher. So happy, so excited. But oh man, I'm scared at the same time because rich people can pull the rug out of the uh, out any time, and this thing can drop like a rock. But it's just the company has so much exciting news in the pipeline that it's so hard to be bearish on AMD right now. I'm just so bullish on the stock. I think it's going a lot higher, but we'll see what happens. Uh, anyways, that's it for... Oh, no, I got another five seconds. 
Okay, well, I don't know. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe for future updates and have a great day. Bye.